Good morning, clan, and welcome to Tuesday. Sierra's big day is here. She has her Ames test, the first one ever, and I think she looks well rested. What do you guys think? A little sleepy eye action going on. You think you're ready? Yeah, you know how important this is, right? You know if you, if you fail this, I'm kicking you out of the house, right? No, I've already told her I, I, have, no, I have no worries at all. She's gonna pass this with flying colors, and she's not even, you're not nervous, are you? No, right? I mean, no, no. no, she's not nervous. No. So she's gonna kick, kick butt. But I, I did tell her that you guys, a lot of you guys, you know, said good luck and um, well wishes and all that good stuff. So now she knows. And today we're only doing part one, then tomorrow part two. Yes, yeah, two, three. There's three days, right? Yeah. Three days. So yeah, just just part one. So the stress level will, will rise after today, or will be gone completely, depending on how well she does today. She'll know what she's in for. What are you doing? We're making my snack for school. We get Do you have special snack time today? Yeah, we get a snack time in between the reading and the math. So what'd you pick for today? Um, today I'm getting one of these and strawberries. Like cupcakes and snacks. Let's find this. It's not fair. Alright guys. Have a good day at school. Okay. Sierra, good luck. Yeah, go look. Love you. Love you, Love you too. Ah. Mwah. Mwah. Tiffany ended up picking up a shift, and so I'm here picking up the kids. Are you super excited to hear how Sierra did today? But they're not finished. No, nope, it's the first day. They have two more days. I am very eager to hear how she did, how she felt she did, because I don't know. If, I don't think they get the results today. But just how she felt she did. Like, did she feel good? Did she feel confident? Did she feel like she nailed it? Or did she crumble and like didn't know stuff? How'd you do? You felt like you did good? You didn't get stumped or like get upset because you could, didn't, know, didn't know something? Solid? Sweet! Okay guys, so we're here at Mima and Papa's. I'm dropping off the kids. They're, uh, they're being nice enough to watch them for me tonight while I go to Lana Del Rey's concert. Super excited. If you guys have never heard of Lana Del Rey, look her up. Uh, on YouTube, all the music, all her music videos are on there. Um, she has a very distinct sound, very distinct look with all her uh, music videos. Kind of dated, uh, like I don't know what era. Each each video is its own era, but um, I dig her music. I I listened to her album all summer long, all year long, really last year, and just fell in love. So I'm super super stoked to see her live in concert. What are you doing? Riding Mima's bike. You're riding Mima's bike. Do you have a helmet on or some knee pads or something? I mean, what happens if you crash, bro? I won't. You thump your melon. Crack it wide open. All right, you crazy kids, be good, okay? All right, guys, downtown Phoenix with some time to kill. Pretty stoked because I'm uh, just around the corner from the venue is a Thai restaurant that I've been wanting to try forever. It's highly recommended by all my friends that love Thai food. Thai basil downtown. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so amazing. Seriously, spicy basil noodles. Oh, so many, so many awesome vegetables. Like it was just like wok fried, just lightly crispy. Oh, I love Thai food so much. Good Thai food is like, mwah. But now it's about that time. Headed to Comerica Theater for Lana Del Rey. There was a huge line out front while I got here. So it looks like it's gone now, which means I should be able to walk right in the doors. Crazy busy.
was such an amazing show. Her voice just, oh, I don't know, it's so weird. I, I feel weird saying that, but she has such an amazing voice and it was such a great show. Love her songs, every one of them. So glad I came, so glad I made that purchase. Back home, freeway drive, was cruising, windows down, blasting Lana Del Rey, it was awesome. Now I have to somehow try to hit the bed and go to sleep, because it's 10.30, and tomorrow normally would be a gym day. Gym days are 4 a.m., and I don't think I'm gonna make that happen. I think I'm gonna take the extra hour, get up at five like I normally do, edit the vlogs, and I'll do the gym on Thursday. Sucks though, uh, Tiffany forgot to drop the camera off, and so she has it, which means I couldn't give it to the kids, so we've got no clips of the kids uh, with Mima and Papa. I'm sure they had fun, and we'll ask what they did uh, in tomorrow's video. Uh, but I'm gonna call it a night. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog on. What's up, guys? Again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, but now it's time to choose your next adventure. Uh, right here on the screen, you've got two fantastic videos for your viewing pleasure. Uh, one year ago, uh, stuck at home for the most part. Kids rode their scooters around with their neighbor kids, and I opened up my merch store, the first one at least, with Spreadshirt. Uh, now, obviously, I have ClintusMerch.com, um, so that's kind of the highlight of that video. Uh, the two years ago video is, a, is kind of a popular one. It's when uh, Jessica and Travis have their baby shower for baby Victoria, and uh, they have a little different style of baby shower. They have it at um, our grandfather's bar, and it's a co-ed one, so boys and girls. Usually, you know, baby showers are just for girls, but they said, nope, everyone's invited. So it was a good time with most of my family and, and some of our friends. So uh, be sure to check that out as well. Uh, obviously, Bryce is freaking adorable. I can't get over it, how, how freaking adorable he is at age four. Like, the way he talks and whatnot is just silly. Silly, I tell you. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.